Hey, what is up my home chickens? I am back and welcome to another retro video game hunting. And in this video, I'm only gonna make a couple stops. I'm only going to go to Target and believe it or not, GameStop. So, you know, only a couple stops this episode. And sorry I haven't done this in a while. I know you guys have been asking me to do this for quite some time. The only reason why I haven't been doing this as much like I used to is I just don't really collect anymore. In fact, I've been kind of liquidating my collection, meaning just selling off all the games I don't really care about. So I'm only keeping all the games that I really cherish or just really enjoy playing in general. So that's pretty much it. So in this day and age, I'm only collecting like statues or any sort of knickknacks, you know, as far as decoration purposes for the nerd room or statues board games and mainly board games because of what I'm going to be doing in the future as far as Joey's fun play videos so and that's why I'm going to be going to Target because they you know they have a decent amount of board games and sometimes they have some good deals so we'll see if they have any good deals today and same with movies I've been collecting movies because I'll be doing a lot of movie review videos so definitely changing things up a bit Sorry if it's really dark. It's pretty dark outside. I think it's supposed to rain later. Clouds are pretty dark. And believe it or not, I know this is very unusual. I didn't stop at Sonic first thing to get my Route 44 Cherry Coke. I actually went to Quick Trip and just got a French vanilla cappuccino. So it is really early in the morning. So. So you guys are probably like, dude, you fucked this video up, man. Where's your, where's your cherry coke? <laughs> oh well. I'm trying to think what to talk about. I felt like I was gonna say something, I already forgot. But yeah, I guess I'll just talk to you once I get to Target. Alright guys, so I'm finally here at Target and already went inside the store so I got a bunch of goodies. I got a couple board games and movies and I actually stopped at a couple of Targets and I will explain why. So I will show you the movies that I picked up first. So the first movie that I picked up is Lord of the Rings Trilogy 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray and I got this at the other Target for $10.00 and what was kind of weird, because at this one, it's 15 So why is it $5 difference? I don't know. Because it wasn't on sale at the other one, so I don't get it. And what's funny, because at the other Target, I almost picked up... This is the other movie that I picked up, by the way. Jumanji on Blu-ray. And it was 13 And, you know, I thought about picking it up. I, I'm surprised I don't already own this, because this is one of my favorite movies of all time. And for those of you that have seen my top 50 favorite films know that... Yeah, I really love this movie. It's a great movie. But anyways, yeah, so they wanted 13 So I was contemplating. I was like, well, I'm going to go to the other Target. Let's see if it's a little cheaper. And ironically, it was. It was $10 here, not 13 So $3 difference. <laughs> Again, Target, what the fuck? Get your shit right. Because <laughs> these the two Targets that I went to are only like 20 minutes apart. So they're really close. So, you know, I don't get it. All right, so speaking of Jumanji... I picked up the board game Jumanji and I paid $20 for this and what's pretty cool is you know like again I love the movie Jumanji so my parents got me the board game in the 90s so I was a teenager and I remember enjoying this game it was really fun it was different and you know looking at the back it looks like the exact same as the 90s version so that's really cool even the box looks the same, so one day I'll do a Joey's Fun Play of that, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. That'll be, you know, a fun experience. And the other board game that I picked up, I'm not as familiar with this one. I only played this once or twice. I had a friend. I never owned this one as a teenager slash kid, but I, ha I also picked up Clue, and it was on sale for like $8 and change, so under 9 bucks. So... 
I've always been curious about this game. It seems really neat, but yeah, this is one I, for the most part, missed out on, so I don't remember the rules very well. I'd have to actually read the manual. But I may do a Joey's Fun Play of this as well. And that's the thing, like, at this point, I've been collecting board games because I will be showcasing a lot of board games, you know, changing things up, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And, of course, I'm collecting movies because I'll be pumping out movie reviews here pretty soon just to change things up. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So my next stop will be Gay Stop. I mean, excuse me, Game Stop. And I'll be trading in some PS4 games and a controller, and people are calling me. <laughs> and I'm going to pretty much pick up a game there. So that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you when I get there. All right, guys. So I'm finally here at GameStop. And before I go in to trade in my stuff, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be trading in and what they'll give me store credit wise. One thing I'll give GameStop is on their website, they have a section where you can look up what they would give you for trade in value. So I'll give them that. That's kind of nice and convenient. So I'm trading in all these PS4 games. They're all PS4. So the first one is Game of Thrones. And they'll give me $5 credit for this. So that's cool. And the next one is Wheel of Fortune slash Jeopardy on PS4, and they'll give me $10 for this. And I know a lot of you like the Wheel of Fortune, but it's just time to move on. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then, um, now I don't remember what they give me, not much, but I still had Madden 17. I can't believe I still had this. And I think they'll only give me like, I think two to three dollars, something like that, store credit. That's actually not bad considering, you know. And trading in Madden 18, as much as I wanted to destroy this, I decided, well, let's just get something for it. So I think right now they'll give me 8 to $10. I can't remember. Something like that. I think between Madden 17 and 18, it was roughly give or take $10. So not too bad, right? The next one is Alien Isolation. And they'll give me $5 for this. And one thing I want to note is I picked this up at Target like a couple years ago on their clearance rack. And it was like 9 bucks. So I got to play this game for $4. And for those of you that are into horror and you're looking for a really good horror game to play on the PS4, pick up Alien Isolation. Great game. Highly recommend it. A very strong 9 out of 10. Great game. And here's another great game is Doom on PS4. And they'll give me five bucks for this. Okay. And then I'm going to trade in one of my old PS4 controllers. The uh, traditional black, which came with the system. It's just getting a little worn out. A little bit. It's still good, but you know what I mean? You can kind of tell, especially like the analog sticks. They're, they're losing it a little bit. And I can't remember what they'll give me. I think 13 to $16.00. So, not bad, right? I have a lot of controllers, so that's fine. And I don't know if they'll accept this. I found this in my closet, my old Xbox 360 hard drive. So, I don't know if they'll take this. It, it wasn't on their website. Not saying they won't take it. It just wasn't on their website. So, we'll, we'll see. I mean, if they take this and they give me even a couple bucks, hell, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Because to me, this is trash. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I'm trading in. So I will be right back and I'll let you know what I picked up. All right, guys, so I'm finally back home and it's time to show you all the goodies that I got at GameStop. So I got a couple of statues actually hit the jackpot, at least for me. So the first thing I got, I already took it out of the box because otherwise you'd hear a lot of bad noise while unboxing this. But I picked up a Thor statue and this is the box, big box. And here's the statue. Look at that. Look at that. That is a nice statue. Make sure you get a good look at it. Yeah, very nice. Not certain how tall this is, but it's pretty big. <laughs> but it was $45 plus tax, so just under $50 for this statue. So I picked that up. And I got another statue. I got the Fallout 4 Power Armor T60 statue. And here's the box. 
Let me go ahead and Yep, this is what the This is what the box looks like. So but wait until you see the statue. Really cool, just like the Thor. Okay. Okay. Bad noise. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay. So here is the power armor statue. Look at that. There's the base. Yeah, I've never seen these statues before. I didn't even know about it. So very slick. Look at that. Yeah, very nice. That's gonna look really nice on this shelf, just like with the same with the Thor. And this one was 55 plus tax, so just around 60, give or take. So yeah, so pretty much just over $100 for both of them, but not too bad. So there's that. And I also picked up Mario Kart 8, the deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. So, and I actually got a good deal. I was going to get a new copy, but because I traded in those PS4 games, instead of 55 this was $45. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll pick it up for 45 So... And as far as the store credit, I'll let you know. I actually got more than I anticipated. I don't know why, but I did. Oh, that's not it. Okay, here we go. That was the Target receipt. Okay, so as far as store credit, so I traded in Doom. on P this, this is all PS4, by the way. So Doom, I got $5 credit. Madden 18 was $10. Madden 17, a dollar. I mean, what do you expect? Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy was $10. Most of this I was right. Game of, Th Game of Thrones was $5. Alien Isolation was $5. I, I traded in an old N64 controller because it was kind of getting worn out, so I decided to dump it. And I got $350 for it. And then that PS4 black controller, I got a lot more than anticipated. I actually got $2250. So not too shabby. So in total, my credit was $62. Not too bad. Okay, so yeah, even after the credit, I still spent about 100 bucks. So, so that's what I got over at GameStop. And even though I showed you what I got at Target, just a recap, because now we can get a better look since I'm just here out of the car. The two movies. Jumanji, which was 10 bucks. Lord of the Rings, one, two, three. I got that for 10 bucks. Yeah, both Blu ray. The board game Clue, and that was $8 and change. And the Jumanji board game for $20. So even though, you know, it didn't seem like I got too much. I actually spent a lot of money. So between Target, I mean Target was $50 between the movies and the board games and after the credit I still spent around 100 bucks, a little over 100 for the statues. So yeah, I spent really right at give or take 150 bucks plus the $62 credit. So really yeah, almost $200, right? Over $200 worth of stuff. And that's why I was saying, like, um, that's why I don't do as much hunting, because sometimes you never know, man. You might spend hundreds of dollars and don't even expect it, you know. It just happens. Like, those statues totally got me off guard. You know, I didn't think I was going to really get anything. You know, I figured I'll get these board games and then the Mario Kart for the Switch, and that was pretty much it. Not much, right? But, man, GameStop had some awesome statues. And those were the last ones that was their last thor and fallout 4 statue they had another fallout 4 statue of the the chick with the uh nuka cola looked really cool i almost picked that up as well and i'm like all right joey calm down <laughs> calm down but yeah, anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this this hunting video can't really call it retro because really this is all more modern stuff <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed and maybe next month i'll do another one but yeah guys as always thanks for watching and supporting me and until next time take care